Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and um, as we uh, have uh, some update blockers that have been removed uh, there should be starting this week an increase in the amount of people that can actually upgrade to the October 2020 update and so um, you know they're moving along I get a lot of questions about the uh, Connexent um, audio and communications devices that um, they know there's something uh, incompatible with it um, almost the way that it, I see it because usually there's investigating or mitigating or things like that I have somewhat of an impression that the problem is from the com company's drivers and that they're waiting probably for the company to release new drivers because they don't seem to be working on anything for that. One of the biggest problems when they do new versions is sometimes it happens that some drivers are incompatible with some new features. And there needs to be, of course, update to the drivers for this to happen. So um, we'll check out what's happening with that situation. But I know that a lot of you are in that category of people that you don't see the new update because you have that device and that device is right now blocked so you don't see the October 2020 update even the May 2020 update has the same issue with the same drivers so this is kind of a curious situation now going on there but there aren't a lot of blockers left and um, you know it's going to be interesting to see what happens as for uh, the um, update, well, I think it should be going a little faster now with all of that uh, happening. Uh, of course, we we're still, uh, you know, at the beginning of the month, but we'll see at the end of January when we get the numbers of uh, how far we are at in the uh, general um, market share of the May and October updates. A lot of you are asking questions about the future of Windows 10, what's going to happen this year, because we know that Sun Valley, the big change in Windows 10 is coming up. I've posted a series of videos that I call Improving Windows, where I talk about some of the things that uh, need to be done to have uh, Windows 10 better. And um, I know a lot of you have been commenting on this. It's kind of interesting to see all the different comments in um, what people want from Windows 10 also, and uh, this is uh, something that I will continue this week with a few videos, uh, this week being also Patch Tuesday week, so we'll have security updates tomorrow, um, as today we are Monday, January 11th, 2021. One of the things for sure, because one of the questions I get asked is, uh, what will we get in our first update this year? It's interesting because uh, we're stuck between two ideologies, two um, two types of information. One is uh, about, well, there's no 21H1 this year. It's just 21H2 and it's going to be a big update. Uh, and the other ones that say, yeah, yeah, there's a 21H1, but it's a small cumulative update, just like we just had with the October 2020 update with very minimal uh, features. And so what is interesting here is that usually at this time, we already know what we're testing because of the insider rings, because the insiders are already testing that cumulative update or that new feature update coming up. Well, they're not. The insiders are still stuck. You know, there's the dev channel that's built, that's testing different things. And the beta channel release preview are still stuck on the October 2020 update, which is uh, a very weird situation. And, um, you know, unless in the next couple of weeks something changes, it almost pushes our attention to the fact that maybe there isn't anything for the first half of this year for Windows 10. We do know that Windows 10 X is the focus of Windows, of the Microsoft Windows team right now as this is what's going to come out in the first half of this year. And um, it's apparently already finished. As for Sun Valley, we slowly, as we get you know new builds, see features. 
So one of the things that we see in the Insider Rings is um, the Dev Channel is testing new animations when you open and close windows. There's kind of an animation going on um, as the windows open and close. These are some of the changes, I think, that are showing us a little bit of what Sun Valley will be like. Um, there's new apps and new things they're testing, but that I don't think is necessarily Sun Valley. For example, the um, there's a news feed thing that uh, I'm not sure that people really want where you see news and weather in your taskbar and you can click on it and a panel opens up with all the information. Um, I think we have enough stuff in our taskbar to, uh, we don't need anything else to screw everything up. And um, so when you look at that, um, we also see that um, there are kind of changes. Some of the apps are changing. So new apps are actually coming out with a different design, um, which is based, um, apparently a lot of the changes in Sun Valley are based in what basically would be a follow-up to you know, kind of a version two of Fluent Design as they're continuing to, to play around with Fluent Design and the Windows operating system. Um, that, so that's kind of interesting what is going to happen there. But overall, um, right now, we have no idea if uh, there is a version coming out in the first half because uh, there's nothing being tested anywhere that we could see. And we're focusing mostly on, you know, Windows 10X, a different operating system, and the uh, second half of this year where Windows 10 is supposed to be um, and have big changes coming up. As for the rollout, it's rolling well. Those that have the Windows update, because I see, you know, there's, um, unfortunately, people share a lot of stuff and get stuck in the same information, if you want. That means that you get fixes, you get tons of things, but people are still, oh, I'm not installing uh, October 2020 update with all the problems. What people need to understand is that if you see it in Windows Update, it's because it doesn't have any problems with your computer. And uh, it's not like in the past. In the past, Windows 7, if there was bugs in a, a, a service pack, everybody would get the service pack and the bugs would be there. There were no blockers, it didn't exist. Today, Windows 10 has the blockers available. That means you see it, it's safe for your PC. You don't see it, something is still wrong. It's as simple as that. So if you see it, it's okay. And uh, the majority of everything is fixed and works great, actually. I have Windows May and October updates on several PCs. Everything is working perfectly well. I have absolutely no problems. So we'll continue checking out what's coming up this year. Of course, as the year goes on, it's still a young year. We're only at the beginning of January, but there's a lot of stuff we're going to talk about as the time goes by. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.